Good morning, dear students. Because in the previous class, we have discussed about the, the small poem from the Miss Standard Second Language English. That was the little busy bee. It was a very simple poem and it gave a lot of knowledge to us. How should we have to How should we involve in any useful work to the society? And we learned in the last class. So, today in this class, we shall start with the new lesson. So, before entering into the lesson, there is an activity. Shall we go to that activity? Yes, I hope you will come with me to do that activity, to complete that activity. The activity is, the passage is given. I will read the passage one or two times. Just listen me carefully. After that, I will ask some questions regarding the passage. You have to answer me. Okay. Uh, don't try to open your textbooks. Just only to listen my reading. I will repeat the passage. It is a very simple passage. It only tend to I more than more than 10 lines. Less than 10 lines. So if you wish I will read it second time. Try, try to understand yourself. Then the questions are given. Let us discuss about the questions. I would like to get the answer from you. I hope you will be able to answer. Okay. So I want to test your understanding. How you are catching, how you are understanding the concept by reading the teacher's reading. So, shall we start the activity? Yes, I will go through an activity. So, the activity is about Gandhi. The activity is about Gandhi. Gandhi was traveling from Durban to Maldivesburg in South Africa. He had a first class ticket. He sat in the train. After some time, a passenger came and asked him to go to the other compartment. Gandhi showed his first class ticket and refused to leave the compartment. After some time, two policemen came and forcefully pushed him out of the train. His baggage was thrown out too. Gandhi felt very sad. This is the passage. This passage has only six lines. This passage has only six lines. And here, a small information. A small incident happened in the life of Mahatma Gandhi Ji has mentioned in this passage. Okay, so I will read it again, listen to the story. Gandhi Ji was traveling from Durban to Martinsburg in South Africa. He had a bus class ticket. He sat in the train. After some time, a passenger came and asked him to go to the other compartment. Gandhi Ji showed his bus class ticket and refused to leave the compartment. After some time, two policemen came and forcefully pushed him out of the train. His baggage was thrown out too. Gandhi Ji felt very sad. This is the passage. I hope you understood. Gandhi Ji was serving as he was making his profession as a lawyer in South Africa. He has he had completed his LLB in South Africa and started to practice as a lawyer in South Africa. So one day when, when Gandhi Ji was traveling from Durban to Martin. Both were the places of South Africa. He was traveling from Durban to Martin's Park in South Africa. He was traveling in a train. Mahatma Gandhi Ji was traveling in a train. He was traveling in a first class compartment. You know that the first class compartment, second class compartment, and then general compartments. Uh, the pay, the pay of the first class compartment is more than. Compared to other compartments like second 
class compartment and general compartment. In general compartment, normal field. Normal field will be we have to pay for the uh, for the traveling in the general compartment. So in the second class compartment, it is less than the first class compartment, more than the general compartment. The pair of the second class is less than first class compartment and more than general compartment. But Mahatma Gandhi ji had a first class ticket, that's why he was traveling in the first class compartment. So he sat in the tram. Mahatma Gandhi ji had sat in the tram. After some time, a passenger came. When the train was moving, Mahatma Gandhi ji was in the first class compartment because he had a first class, he had a first class ticket. A passenger, after some time, a passenger came and asked Mahatma Gandhi ji to go to the other compartment, like second compartment or the general compartment. You don't travel, you don't have any right to travel in a first class compartment. You better to go to the second compartment or the general compartment. Don't travel in a first class compartment. Who told? The passenger who came after some time. Passenger who came after some time, he came to the Mahatma Gandhi ji and asked him to go to other compartment to leave the first class compartment. Passenger came and asked him to go to the other compartment. So when passenger asked him to go to other compartment, immediately Gandhi ji showed his first class ticket. Hello Mr. I have a first class ticket. And Mahatma Gandhi, Gandhi ji was refused to leave the first class compartment. I have a first class, first class ticket, that's why I am traveling in a first class compartment. Why should I leave the first class compartment? I have the right to travel in the first class compartment because I have purchased a first class ticket. Why are you asking me to go to other compartments? Gandhi ji asked for the passenger. So immediately the passenger went and come. He went and complained to the police officers. After a few minutes, after some time, the two policemen, the two policemen came and forcefully came and forcefully pushed him out, pushed my father out of the train. And also his Luggage. Luggage means luggage was also thrown out of the time. Gandhi ji felt very sad from this incident. Gandhi ji felt very sad from this incident. This is the passage. This is the incident given in this passage. I hope you understood the passage. And also, we have some questions. Why did police men threw Gandhi ji and his baggage out of the train? That is the main questions we have. Why did why did they threw him out? Why did they threw him out from the? Why why did they throw him out from the moving train? Even he had a first class ticket, even he had a first class ticket, why he was not able to, why he was not able to travel in a first class compartment, even, have, even having a first class ticket. That question still happens. Why the passenger asked him to go to other compartment? We know the reason why Gandhi ji refused to go to other compartment because he had a first class ticket. That's why he was traveling in a first class compartment. That's why he refused. But why did police officers throw him away? Why did police officers throw him away from the moving train with his baggage? That is the that is the question will arise in our mind. Am I right, dear friends? Yes, I hope you have the same questions like. So you, I hope you better understand, you better understood the 
passage. Okay, so uh, I would like to ask some questions regarding the passage. I think you will be able to answer them. Why do you think I need you as four out of the time? Only one question is given. Have a discussion in the class. Why did you think you were some garbage in the classroom out of the time? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Or why did Mark Gandhi throw out of the time in his baggage? Or what do you think? So there is a need to develop the 
The same incident happened, happened in the life of Amber Khan also. When Amber Khan was traveling in a Buddha cart, that Buddha cart was belongs to the upper caste people. When they leave Amber, when they leave Amber Khan was belongs to the lower caste. Immediately they pushed him down from the running Buddha cart. He was injured. That day he was also decided to remove this type of worst caste system, the roots of caste system from our society and to make our society pure without any caste system. Still caste system is existing in our country. Still caste system is existing in our country. We are not completely removing the caste system. We don't know why. Why our government is not going to remove complete caste system from our society? We don't know. Why we are recognizing the people, those who belongs to which caste, those who belongs to which caste? So somebody says, some people will say, those we consider as the scholars, they will say. There are only two cats in our society. One is male and the other one is female. But the lack of so cats and such cats are existing in our country, especially in our country. There are more than lack of more than lack cats and such cats are existing in our country. Why we are practicing this type of caste system? If you continue to practice this type of caste systems, what will what will happen? The whole society will be destroyed. The social so, the social system will be collapsed. So that's why we have to remove this type of caste system from our society. Okay, that is the thing we have to keep up. So the second one is universal brotherhood. So I would like to. He explained the concept of universal brotherhood. We are only one heart. We are only one heart. We call this heart as our motherland. We call this heart as our motherland. That means this heart is mother to heart. This heart is mother to heart. Do you believe me? Only we have one heart. There is no separate heart for each country. All countries are existing on the same heart. The heart is mother for all the countries of the world. We have constructed the whole world on this heart. We are. Seeing We are seeing so many things on the heart. We are seeing seas, re- sea, rivers, waterfalls, ponds, trees, forest, fruits, flowers, animals, human beings, vehicles, industries, hospitals, educational institutions. Public buildings, government offices, complexes, trade centers, everything are existing on this same heart in all the countries. We have only one heart. This heart is called as mother heart or the mother land. This is the one mother land. We have our own mother. We have our own mother in our house, but heart is also our mother because heart is the base for our survival. Heart is the base for our survival. Without heart, we can't survive. Without heart, we can't stand. Without heart, we can't lead our life. 
So that's why we need heart. Heart is our mother. That's why we call it as a mother of the heart. Okay. So the people who are living in different countries, those are all the children. Those are all the children of the mother of the children of the mother. The people who are living in the different countries, more than two fifty countries are existing on this earth. The people who are living in these two fifty countries, they are all. The If we become the children of the mother, earth, the people who are living on this earth, we are all the children of the mother earth. If we become the children of the same mother, we will become a brothers and sisters. We will become a brothers and sisters. I think you got the point. If you were, if if you if we were the children of the, if we if we are the children of the mother earth or the mother land, that is, we are the children of the same mother. If we if we are the children of the same mother, we will become brothers and sisters. The people who are living in America. The people, the people who are living in Pakistan, the people who are living in Australia, the people who are living in China, the people who are living in France, Burma, Bangla, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Tibet, Japan, Germany, Italy, Rome. People who are living in India, other countries in the world, they are all our brothers and sisters. Some are younger brothers, some are elder brothers. So and also the males are brothers and sisters, and females are males and brothers, younger brothers and elder brothers. Females are younger sisters. We have to develop the concept of universal death, universal brotherhood among the people of the country, among the children of the country, in the mind of the children of the country, each and every country in the world. Definitely, we can promote the concept of easily. We can promote the concept of universal brotherhood. Once we develop. We will not go to harm any countries. We will not go to dictate any war against the other countries. We don't go to fight each other. We start to think. We start to feel. We start to treat other people as our brothers and sisters. There is a need to develop such type of universal brotherhood among the people of the world. Because already we have seen first world war and also second world war. We have we have seen that we have seen first world war and second world war. We knew that. Five crore people died in the Second World War. 
if if third world war happened if third world war happened wall hut and human being We don't give. We don't give a chance to. We don't give a chance to happen. We don't give a chance to happen. Can what was? We have to stop it because we got a lot of bad experience. We had a lot of bad experience in Second World War. Still, we are not forgetting it. Still, we are not forgetting it. Uh, when nuclear bomb was used uh, by America and Japan. The famous cities of Japan: Hiroshima and Nagasaki. On sixth and ninth August, nineteen forty-five, the two cities, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, were completely burned down. And and still, the people who are getting burnt in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, they are they are getting burnt as handicapped. And still, we are not getting the proper heat in the place of Hiroshima and Nagasaki because of the effects of the Second World War. If Third World War happened, if Third World War happened, everything will be collapsed. Everything will be destroyed. The whole world will be destroyed. The whole human being life. Would you like to have life? Would you like to lose your life? If I ask the questions, if I ask these questions to anybody, everybody says, "I would like to have life. I don't want to lose my life." If you want to have life, try to stop the war. How to stop the war? Simply, very simple way. Develop the concept of universal brotherhood. Develop the concept of universal brotherhood. Automatically, our enmity will be reduced. Our enmity will be reduced. We are all brothers and sisters. Why should we fight with each other? We can construct our life. We can lead our life. We can improve our life together. Come and join with us. We will help you. You can help us. We will provide what we have. You can provide us what you have. Just we can follow the give and take policy. Why should we follow each other? We don't. We don't carry anything after our death. We will leave everything on this earth. So why why don't we have a sweet and happy life on this earth? So if you develop this type of modern technology concept, definitely we can stop the third world war. Cold war is running. The cold war is still cold war is on. Still cold war is on. Immediately we have to switch off the cold war. Develop the concept of universal brotherhood. So that is not easy to develop the universal concept of universal brotherhood easily and very soon. It will take a long time. I know. I I agree that one. It will take a long time. Wait for the time and try to make it instantly and try to make it as soon as possible. As only as And stop the immediate war of each of the countries, among the countries, in between the two countries. So, I mean, India and Pakistan, and India and China, relationship, India 
Their guts cannot be healthy and they have relationship is not in a good condition. We have lot of issues. We have lot of what uh, lot of quarrels, conflicts. We have lot of conflicts uh, regarding the border. So we have to come to an adjustment. We have to come to an agreement and all that. Just we have to live a healthy, a peaceful life, a happy life. Don't invite any other country. Don't invite the country to other country as a war invitation. That is not a good growth. That is not a good development. So that's why we treat other people as our brothers and sisters. So definitely they will also treat us as as their brothers and sisters. We should have a pure heart. We should have a pure mind. We should have a pure knowledge. Definitely we can deal with everyone. So dear students, that's why in this activity, that activity will promote the concept of universal. The universal brotherhood means the people who are living on this earth. They are all the children of the motherland or the mother earth. If we work, if we if we are the children of the same mother, we will become a brothers and sisters. That is the concept of universal brotherhood. Okay, so. That is an activity. So, and the second activity is given. Look at the map and the information. Look at the map is given. The map is given. This is the map of the Jamaica. Jamaica is the country. Jamaica is the country. We call it the West Indies as the Jamaica. And Kingston. Kingston is the Capital city of Jamaica. Kingston is the capital city of Jamaica. Look at the map and information. The answer the questions are given. The information is given after in the next page. Now the page number thirty-five. And then in the next page, thirty-six. Information is given about the area, capital city, major towns, physical features, head of state, political system. Administrative divisions, political parties, operation, population growth rate, ethnic distribution, life expectancy, literacy rate, language, religions, currency, GDP, growth rate, exports, and also history is given. What happened? What are the things or the incident happened in the country of Jamaica? Okay, so. So after that, questions are asked. Questions are asked. So based on the information given, based on the information given, try to answer the questions. One example is given, which is the capital of Jamaica? Which is the capital of Jamaica? The country of Jamaica. Already we knew that part. Yes, Kingston. The capital of Jamaica is Kingston. The capital of Jamaica is Kingston. Which is the capital of Jamaica? Jamaica capital is Kingston. Is the capital of Jamaica. The second question we have to find out the answer. What is the area of Jamaica? Can you find out the answer? What is the area of Jamaica? Has given ten thousand nine hundred fifty-seven square kilometers. Ten thousand area. Area of Jamaica ten thousand nine hundred. Square kilometer, square kilometer, sorry, square kilometer. Ah, four thousand two hundred thirty.
square miles. Total length dua ratus lima puluh square miles. Next question is, which are the major towns and cities in Jamaica? Which are the major towns and cities in Jamaica? The more major towns and cities are given. Montero Bay, major cities. I think you are getting the answer. Mm. Cities are Montero. Bay, Montero Bay. Sorry, Montero Bay. And Bay, Montero Bay. Spanish Town. Spanish Town. Saint Andrew. Saint Andrew. Fort Mill. Fort Mill. Fort Mill. This is the most Fort Fort Mill. Fort Mill. Fort Mill. Sorry. This is the major town and city of Jamaica. This is the major town and city of Jamaica. The third question is. Near what is two political parties of Jamaica? Political parties are given. Jamaica Labour Party. JLP. Can you say JLP? Jamaica Labour Party. JLP. The second one is moderate. Centrist. People's National Party. We call it as a PNP. People's National Party. PNP. Left of center. National Democratic Movement. NDM. National Democratic Movement. Centrist. One is Jamaica Labour Party. People's National Party. National Democratic Movement. These are the three major political parties of Jamaica. Any two, right? Not any two. What is the population of Jamaica? The the population of Jamaica was two crore four lakh forty seven thousand. Two crore four lakh forty seven. Thousand population according to the 1995 estimation. According to the 1995 estimation, population estimation. When was the very abolished in Jamaica? That is very important. When was the very first abolished in Jamaica? Yes, can you get the answer? Slavery was abolished in Jamaica. When was the very first? Abolish in Jamaica. Did you get the answer? Yes. In 1838, slavery was abolished. In 1838, slavery was abolished in Jamaica. This is the brief introduction which is given about the Jamaica. Okay, no need. It's, a, it's an activity, so uh, the information is given. So based on the information, the questions will be given. Try to answer the questions. Try to answer the questions. So, so let us discuss about the poem. Let us discuss about the lesson, the unit, unit three from the standard second language English, Jamaican fragment. Let us discuss about the lesson. Jamaican fragment. The time is over. In next class, let us we shall discuss about the uh, lesson Jamaican fragment. So, in the next class, we shall discuss about the lesson Jamaican fragment. Fragment means a, a piece. Fragment means a piece. Let us discuss a small part. Fragment means a small part of Jamaican. A small part of the Let us know about a small part of the Let us know about a small part, a small picture, a small information about the Jamaica. This is the same Jamaica fragment. This is
This lesson is written by Hendrix. This lesson is written by A. L. Hendrix. This lesson is written by A. L. Hendrix. A. L. Hendrix has written the lesson Jamaican fragment. So in this class, we shall go to the lesson. We shall go to the lesson Jamaican fragment, which is written by A. L. Hendrix. So I hope you understood today's lesson. Uh, I am giving a common for you to learn from the activity questions and answer them. And also, uh, write, write, write a summary. Uh, write a answer by the Gandhiji throughout from the moment and from the policemen. Write an answer in the world world. Write an answer in your in your statement. Write an answer in your opinion. Why did Gandhi get caught from the moving train with his baggage? I hope you will be able to answer these questions. Okay. Thank you, students, for watching this class. Thank you very much.